Hello everyone, welcome to today's movie. In today's movie we're going to look at the Mann-Whitney U-Test which is a non-parametric test for two independent samples and in this case we're going to use the SPSS software package. In a previous movie we looked at how we solved that problem using Excel and there's the Excel solution on the actual screen. And remember in this particular case we were looking at uh, a new method for training uh, a company's employees and to assess whether the new method improved the employee's effectiveness the firm collected two random samples from the population of employees sitting in the training assessment. Training type 1 employees have studied the traditional method and training type 2 employees via the new method and you can see the scores. So we set up the hypothesis test the null hypothesis was that there wasn't any improvement in performance and the alternative hypothesis was that there was an improvement in performance. Now remember this, this test is equivalent to the two sample independent t-test but if your data, your two samples are not normally distributed then you would normally use the non-parametric test such as the Mann-Whitney U-test. Okay, so we have a two-tailed test because of not equal. In this case, we're comparing the medians for number for one and the median for number two, and to see whether or not the populations are different. So we have a two-tailed test. So we're employing the Man Whitney test. We tested at a significance level of five percent. You can choose what you want, but we we'll normally choose five percent, which is now point now five. And we found that the Z value was minus 1.36. So there's our equations on the right hand side. Yeah, just as a reminder. The, um, the population mean mu is given by this equation. The population uh, standard deviation is given by this equation. Substitute in, we get Z. But obviously we need to use the UCAL value, which is 997. And in this case, the two-tailed P value came out to be 0.17 which is uh, bigger than the significance level of 0 0.05. So in that case, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So statistically, there's no evidence that there's a, a difference in performance between the traditional method of teaching in terms of the result and the U method in terms of the result, etc. So, but SPS, remember, Excel is quite complicated. SPSS is a lot easier to perform. Now remember we got uh, in, we got um, uh, independent data here so we have to have a grouping variable variable which we call training type 2, 1 etc and there's our combined sample as you can see there. So this is the example from example 8.7 in the book so we can now use uh, SPSS to actually solve this particular problem and all we need to do is click on analyze, click on non-parametrics we can go through, I say, independent samples here, but what I'll do is I'll go through the legacy and I'll choose two independent samples. Okay, now once you've got that, you then need to tell, you need to do the group grouping variable. So I click on there and we have two groups, one and two. So give me one second. So it's one and two. Click OK. And what we want to do is the, the combined sample we transfer to the test variable list. Remember, that's your actual numbers. Okay, and then once we've done that, we can click on exact, although we don't really need this, and then click continue. And then once we've done that, we can then, if you wanted to, you can click on options. And if you want descriptive statistics in the quartiles, you could actually ask for them there. Okay, continue. And we want the Man Whitney U test, and then click OK. So after a few seconds, the uh, SPSS output file, remember SPSS, you have a data file and you have a separate output file. So there's my output and the numbers I'm interested in are these. So what I'm going to do is I'll do a screenshot for you. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer that screenshot over into Excel so I can do a comparison. So I'll put it in there, shall I? There we are. So let's just drag it over there. Okay, so you can see it. So you can see here, yeah, look, the Man Whitney U test result is 997, and that's uh, as you can see there is 997. The Wilcoxon W value is 1777, which is there. The Z value 
is minus 1.363. We've got a slightly different value. We've got minus 1.360. Now, the difference is, is because uh, you've got continuity um, to uh, look at, but you've also got a modification of the estimate of the population standard deviation due to ties. SPSS does that. We haven't done that. Okay, so your results will be slightly different. The two-tailed p-value is 0.1737 and asymptotic sig two-tailed 0.173. So very, very, very close, you can see. Okay, so SPSS is very easy to use compared to obviously using Excel. Okay, but the results are the same, if not similar. The only difference here is one, because we haven't done continuity correction. And second is that we haven't modified the population standard deviation due to the number of tied values, which obviously impacts on that and impacts on that. Okay, so that's the end of today's video. Bye for now.